Hi there and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be answering the question of whether or not a plot that fails this check right here, the plots check command, will still farm Chia and win you coins. Now you can see that this one clearly says error. It's, it's nice and red and it has an assertion error saying that it was unable to prove or verify the plot. And then down here it says warning one invalid plot found. Now the question is will this plot still win you Chia? Because if you go into the GUI you know, you can see that all my plots are still being farmed. It says that none are not farming or are invalid. So, you know, is this plot actually farmable? Now, I did want to find out more information about this assertion error right here to see why it makes these plots invalid. So I did jump into the source code on their GitHub and I found the area in which, you know, this code is ran to validate the plot. So it basically, you know, goes through a for loop uh, with the numbers of challenges you want to throw at it. So in my case, I threw 100 challenges at it. The default is 30. And here you can actually see why the, the challenges are static because it derives the challenges from the number starting with number one. So it changes the numbers to bytes and then it gets the hash from that. And from there, I really don't know how it validates the plot. But if we scroll down, we can find the comment right here before it tries to uh, get the full proof or validate the proof for each challenge. And here it says other plot errors cause the get full proof or the validate proof to throw an assertion error, which is exactly what I got. And here you can see the error message is matching the one I have too, error improving or verifying for a plot and then the plot path which we can see right here. Now, why does this make the plot invalid? Well, I don't know enough information about these two methods to understand why this error gets thrown, but I did notice that if an assertion error does get thrown, then this variable caught exception gets set to true. And if that exception gets set to true, well, this if statement gets triggered and it breaks the for loop, so it stops challenging the plot and therefore it, it just stops trying to validate it. Now if we go down one more line where it exits the for loop or the for loops gets broken out of because of a caught exception, we can see that it checks to see if the total number of proofs found is greater than zero and that the caught exception variable is set to false. Now if both of these statements are true, well it adds this plot to the good plot array. Now if one of these statements is false, in our case the caught exception is true, then it runs this code block down here and it adds the plot to the bad plots array. Now whenever it spits out the summary, it checks to see if the total bad plots is greater than zero, and if it is, well it spits out this little line that we saw in PowerShell stating that you have invalid plots. Now does this actually mean that the plot is invalid and cannot be farmed? Well, I really don't know enough about these uh, methods right here to tell you for sure, but from what I can tell, it just seems like it's unable to validate it and therefore it just assumes that it's invalid. Now in order to test this, we need to see if any of the coins that I have farmed so far came from any of the plots that are deemed invalid. Now it is possible to find which plot actually farmed the Chia and I actually just used the module that I created PS Chia that talks with the RPC of the um, Chia client and basically it boils down to getting your transactions, getting the confirmed at height which is not the actual farmed height and you basically look back 100 blocks and you match the farm reward puzzle hash to the transaction. Um, puzzle hash and then from there you can get the plot public key and match it to one of your plots that has the same public uh, plot public key. Oh and real quick whenever I was going through the source code I came to this page to look up some of the errors and I thought this comment was kind of funny where it says permanent errors block is unsalvageable garbage. I don't know, maybe not that funny, but to me it, it kind of made me chuckle. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into PowerShell and get our farmed uh, plots. So I'm just going to run the function that I made and I'm going to store the output into a variable called farmed uh, plots. So I'm just going to do git chia farmed uh, plot. If we hit enter, it's going to throw all the output into this variable. So once that's done, we can then see which uh, plots that we actually farm. So right here you only see four and that's because 
Um, some of my plots that got farmed are actually on harvesters or I moved the hard drives to harvesters. Okay, so now that we have some of the plots that actually farm Chia, well, we can run the plots check command to see if they're actually valid. Now, the easy way to do this is just to pipe the objects in this variable to the for each object commandlet and then uh, running it against each of one of these objects. So we're going to do Chia plots check and then we're going to do the dash g um, flag to filter out uh, only the plots that match these plot files. So I'm going to do dollar sign underscore to get the current object in the pipeline and then do full name to get the full path of this plot and then I'm just going to change the number of challenges we throw at it to 10 because we don't really need to do that many. We're just checking to see if an error occurs. So essentially what we're doing here is taking each one of these file plots objects in the variable farm plots and we're piping them down the pipeline one at a time against the chia plots check using the full path of that uh, plot file. So if we go ahead and run it, now I'm going to blur some of this out, but you, we will see some errors start to occur and these errors are the, some, the same ones that I showed earlier in the video. Now if we scroll up and we look at the error that's being generated, we can see that's the same assertion error that I showed in the, in the beginning of the video. And this is a plot that actually won Chia. So you can see that this error, this particular assertion error, does not mean that the plot is invalid. Now it's probably not a good plot and you should probably delete it, but does it make it impossible to farm Chia with it? Well, actually we can see that it does not. Now, what if we change the starting uh, challenge instead of starting at one, what if we changed it to let's say 30 and do the challenges from 30 to 60? Well, I know that this is the second to last one, so let's go ahead and try to do that. So I'm gonna do clear screen and then I'm gonna run the same command, but this time I'm gonna insert a command before the for each where I do select object. I'm gonna skip one and I'm going to select the last one so we're only going to run the Chia plot check on the second to last one and then I'm also going to change the starting point of the plots check. So we can actually do this by doing dash dash challenge dash start and then giving it the uh, number at which we want to start the challenges so instead of starting at number one well we can start at challenge number 30 and then from there we can just do the next 10 challenges so if I click enter, you can see that we actually found one valid plot. Now it's only two out of 10, so 0.2, so that's not too great. So let's go ahead and try to do 30. So let's do the same thing, but take off the 10. And then if we do this, well, we can see that we get another error. Now I did find that I can get a successful 30 by doing uh, 57 right here. And then here you can see that, you know, we have 26 out of 30, there's no invalid plots. So, you know, it appears that this plot file is just riddled with errors, but there are parts of it that are still valid. Now, with all that being said, I will probably delete these plots first before any others whenever I do replot for the pools. But why do I have these plots with errors to begin with? Well, whenever I first started plotting, I actually had a faulty RAM. So if I do get Chia, plotting statistics, well this will parse the plotting log files for me and break them down for me. And if you want to learn more about that, you can check out my other video about uh, finding the, a good delay time for your parallel plotting. But if I hit enter, well all my recent uh, plotting has been pretty good. But if you see my, my the beginning, you can see that a lot of them didn't finish and it was very frustrating because I would waste like you know, four hours right here and then just have to restart the GUI and then begin again. So I wasted a lot of time uh, with uh, RAM that was just bad. Now I end up just doing the memory, uh, Windows memory diagnostic test. And whenever I did that, it, it did come up saying that it found errors with the RAM and that I had to contact my manufacturer. Now I had Corsair and they actually have uh, a lifetime limited warranty. So I was able to do an RMA and I basically paid $5 for shipping and got the RAM replaced. Now, if you are having uh, your plots just stop randomly, like mine did, like it would be a 33%, it would be 65% just a random time, you know, you might be worth checking out to see if your RAM is, is messed up. Now I use Windows memory uh, test, but there is also MemTest86 that I've seen people in the community use as well. Um, 
However, I have also heard that XMP can mess things up a little bit. So, you know, if you're having these errors or you're having some plots have some errors in them, then your RAM would be the first place to start checking. Now, I really made this video because I did see quite a few people wondering if the plots were still farmable, even if they failed that check uh, plots test. And, you know, I happened to be someone that farmed Shia with one of those failed plots, you know, because I had messed up RAM. I was able to start very early in the network. So, I got some farm chia on some very unlucky plots. But I still very much recommend deleting those plots and if you're planning on to join official pools, you know, those probably should be the first plots that you delete as you transition your farming to pooling. Now I am still working on the PS Chia plotter module, so you know it is a slow progress, but I will be updating that and I will be releasing another video uh, to continue on with the PowerShell uh, plotting in parallel and, and stuff like that. So stay tuned for those videos. All right, bye.